what's new at Disneyland Paris from new character meets, new shows, new merchandise, new snacks, and of course, the return of the Rendezvous Gourmand in Walt Disney Studios Park. We have loads to talk about in this video, so come along. Now, of course, with it being June right now, it is officially Pride Month and Disneyland Paris is celebrating it. As you can see, there's a little Mickey topiary there behind me. I say little, it's actually quite big. This is the Mickey topiary that you will see at the entrance of Disneyland Park, just in front of the Disneyland Hotel. And for the month of June, for Pride Month, they have put all the rainbow flag colors on it, which is amazing. I love that Disneyland Paris supports the LGBTQ community. But that beautiful Pride topiary is not the only way that Disneyland Paris is celebrating Pride Month here in the parks they also have an official pride event happening for the third time running in Walt Disney Studios Park that's going to be happening on the 17th of June 2023 I have attended the past two pride journeys here and they've both been amazing so if you are attending the pride event on the 17th of June 2023 at Disneyland Paris Walt Disney Studios you are in for a good time and let me know in the comments down below actually if you are going to it or if you're hoping to go maybe the following year in 2024 another cool thing that Disneyland Paris is doing for the whole month of June for pride is that they have a new magic shot in Walt Disney Studios Park actually kind of at the entrance of it when you first go in basically in front of the partner statue Mickey and Walt there's normally a photo pass photographer there and if they are there they will be able to do a magic shot with you to have basically the pride colors as a little border of your photo with Disneyland Paris as well it's quite cool hopefully you'll be able to see it here right now next we have it's a small world the beloved is small world which you can see there behind me one of my favorite attractions here at Disneyland Paris it is now open it is fully open it's operating again after about two years of renovations I am so happy that it's back it's honestly one of my favorite rides to get on it's a nice relaxing ride and the ride has never looked better after renovations everything's a lot more shiny everything works perfectly even from the outside the exterior of it just looks amazing and they have added a couple of new things inside as well with the inclusion of a couple of uh, dolls on wheelchairs which I think is amazing because we want the ride to be as inclusive as possible hopefully they can make even more changes as the years come by but it's small world if you're coming to Disneyland Paris in the next few months or at any point in 2023 hopefully we won't be getting on a dumb renovation anytime soon again come and go on it a lot of you probably haven't had a chance to go on it yet because it has been closed for the past couple of years now's your chance I do have a whole video about this as well coming up so make sure you subscribe to see it I'm in Adventureland now because for the summer months they actually have have a new fruit cart which you can see there behind me it sells some fresh fruits every single day so if you want to get yourself something healthy you can grab yourself something from this cart in Adventureland I think they're about one euro each here's a look at some of the fruits they've got on offer at the moment there's some bananas they've got some apples some oranges and yeah they are all one euros each so there you go get yourself some healthy fruits still in Adventureland but I'm very happy to say that Agrava Cafe one of my favorite buffet restaurants here at Disneyland Paris is back open now in fact it actually reopened today on the 3rd of June 2023 is the day I'm filming this. It is back open. I'm hoping to revisit it very soon. So again, make sure you subscribe because I will do a new updated dining review at Agrabah Cafe here, one of my favorite buffet restaurants now that it has reopened. We are at Auberge de Saint Lyon now, which is a princess character dining meal here in Fancyland. And whilst the restaurant has been open for a while now since the pandemic hit, it hasn't been open for breakfast yet. They did a short little stint of breakfast just before the pandemic hit. I think it was in 2019 for a few months. And I actually have a video of that as well if you want to check it out. The breakfast at Auberge was lovely. I actually preferred it, I think, to lunch or dinner. But Disney has now announced that they will be coming back. Breakfast at Auberge, Princess Breakfast, Character Dining will be officially coming back this spring early summer so you might be able to already book for it in fact if you're watching this video maybe you've already booked to come and dine here at the Berger Saint for breakfast it's also cheaper I'm gonna put the prices up here so you can see how much it is but if you want to meet princesses at the Berger Saint without paying too much for lunch then the breakfast is definitely worth it we have some new snacks here at Disneyland Paris this month and they can all be found at the cable car bake shop on Main Street USA sponsored by Kiri which is one of the famous cheeses here in France I actually used to love Kiri personally as a child my brother and I used to always eat it see it's a lot of cheese based snacks but I'm very much looking forward to going to try them out so let's head in if you're wondering where the cable car bake shop is by the way it's on your right hand side towards the end of Main Street once you're getting closer to the castle and this is it it's been closed for the past few months obviously because they were renovating it, I suppose for this new uh, snack situation but yeah you can see them here all the new um, Kiri snacks are here there's a cable car carrot cake by the looks of it a Lombard street cupcake a Golden Gate cheesecake San Francisco there you go and then a Tarte de Flete Claire and a Claire which is exciting they all look pretty good to be fair and as you can see they all have the Kiri logo on them and if you want to see them here in real life 
they look quite nice and pretty big too now i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to try all of these today we are gonna try a few of them we'll see they actually also have these new mickey sandwiches which they've had since the beginning of the 30th anniversary but now they're using kiri cheese in them rather than whatever cheese they used before i think it used to be the vache kiri now it's uh, kiri so i'm probably gonna get myself a sandwich actually because i love these mickey shaped sandwiches and oh my god i just noticed they also do some quiches here look at that cheese and kiri quiche and they are not only huge but they look good don't you think these look fantastic so i feel like i'm gonna be probably having some kind of feast today here at the cable car bake shop so i've got my goods here with me on this tray oh, the quiche honestly smells phenomenal the cheese in the quiche i think is obviously what makes it but i've got quite a few things i've got a sandwich a quiche and then also i went for the carrot cake i decided the carrot cake of all the four sweet things that i saw was the one that was the most appealing to me and also they don't normally tend to sell carrot cakes at disneyland paris i think this is one of the first times i've actually seen one in disneyland paris myself so i'm looking forward to giving it a taste test to be honest i am currently in discovery arcade by the way because the cable car bake shop is quite small and there was no table available it was very very busy at this time of afternoon i guess people want their snacks people want food all the time don't they so this is where we are it's a standing table as well it's like a high table they don't have any seats here but it's somewhere where you can at least place your food and eat just in case the actual restaurant that you're hoping to eat at is full i'm most excited about the quiche so i think i'm gonna have the quiche first and i just noticed they didn't really give me any cutlery i'm not sure if i was meant to pick some up it's very much self-service here but because i'm solo at this point if i go back i just i can't take all my food back it's just too complicated so please excuse me i am gonna have to eat the quiche by hand it's a pretty big quiche this one with kiwi cheese in it the quiche is excellent i knew it was going to be excellent as well as soon as i laid my eyes on it i just had a feeling that it was going to be really really good and it is not only does it look good i mean what do you guys think if you love cheese and quiches i mean it's nice and warm as well the cheese tastes are beautiful and yeah i feel like it's a snack that i'm going to probably get quite often now that they have it in disneyland paris honestly so good i'm worried i'm just going to continue eating it all before getting to everything else i kind of want to try the sandwich too the sandwich i'm probably just going to have some of it and then save the rest for later on but this quiche is delicious please if you're coming to disneyland paris and if you love cheese like i do go and get this from the cable car bake house the quiche was six euros fifty by the way so six euros fifty for that quiche that i just completely devoured i'm gonna have a few bites of the sandwich now the mickey shaped sandwich like i said these aren't new they've had them since the beginning of the 30th anniversary celebrations oh thank you so much thank you very much oh shout out to those lovely people there but um yeah these have been out since the march of the, i think the beginning or middle of march 2022 so they've been out for a while except the cheese i'm guessing is different i'm gonna open this up so you can see what's inside so you've got some ham you've got some cheese this is just like regular cheese and then they also have some kiwi cheese spread on the pretzel mickey bread these aren't anything too special by the way they just look very cute and they can be nice little snacks for children especially if they want something cute and you can definitely share them as well because they're quite big they're nine euros and the bread is pretty nice like I said, generally speaking, I wouldn't say nine euros is worth just a ham and cheese sandwich, but we're in Disneyland Paris. It's a Mickey shaped snack and it's got curry cheese in it. So let's give this a go. I mean, it's a pretty good ham and cheese sandwich. The bread itself, especially, I think is really good. The only thing I will say is that it's a little dry because even though they do put some you know cheese spread on there with the kiwi cheese and there's ham and cheese in it as well there's no sauce and i feel like if they added maybe some mayonnaise maybe a bit more butter i don't really know it just needs something to make it a little bit less dry apart from that though it is very good they also have a vegetarian option which i actually think i prefer the vegetarian option the vegetarian option is a little less dry because the vegetables in it it's a bit more moist which is what i prefer but the ham and cheese option is also very popular so i thought i'd give it a go right that's as far as i could go with a mickey shaped pretzel ham and cheese sandwich it's really good by the way I mean it's nine euros but it's huge as you can see this is a huge portion you can definitely share it between two or three people you can you know maybe two the kids could have the ears and then you could have the rest if you wish to and yeah it's a lot so I couldn't even finish it but it's a good thing they give you this I'm gonna take that for later I'm gonna have a lovely dinner with the rest of Mickey and then we've got this uh, carrot cake uh, left now um, this was four euros and again it's got loads of the kiwi cheese on it i'm not generally the biggest fan of carrot cakes but i do enjoy them from time to time so i thought i would give this one a go once again hand sanitizing my hands i feel like i hand sanitize them every like five or ten minutes especially when i'm doing food videos but um, here is the carrot cake you can see it a bit more up close it's a pretty decent size as well i would say it also looks good like it's nicely presented 
Smells really nice too actually, so I'm very much looking forward to giving this a taste test. That is fantastic. Oh my god. I don't know why, but I didn't have, you know, high expectations for this. Just because, like I said, I'm not generally a big carrot cake fan. It's not the type of cake that I normally am gravitated towards. I'm definitely more of a chocolate kind of person, or even vanilla. But this is amazing. The cheese in there, the layer of cheese, fantastic. The cream on top, the actual cake is so nice and moist. Yeah, one of the better carrot cakes I've ever had. I would probably even put this in my maybe top 10 favorite snacks of Disneyland Paris at this point. Who knows? But let me know if you guys would want me to do a video showing you my top 10 favorite snacks because there's been so many new snacks over the past couple of years in Disneyland Paris that I don't even know which ones are my top 10. So maybe I should do that video at some point. Speaking of snacks, Le Rendezvous Gourmand, which is the little food and wine festival here in Disneyland Paris, is back again from the beginning of June 2023 and it should be lasting until around mid-October in Walt Disney Studios Park. The main uh, stands are in the Ratatouille area so if you want all the French stands you can find them in Place de Remy. Um, it's very very lively, it's very cute, it smells delicious as soon as you actually enter this land. But they also do have a few new stands for this year. I've made a whole video about the Rondeau Gourmand if you want to check it out. I'll leave the link down below. They've got an Asia stand which is amazing and they've got a couple of new French ones as well. So yeah, make sure to check out some of the food here at the Food and Wine Festival. Now most of you probably know that recently the new live action version of The Little Mermaid was released in cinemas and to celebrate that Disneyland Paris is having a little Little Mermaid show if you like with Ariel and a couple of dancers here at Walt Disney Studios Park if you want to find the location it's right next to the studio theatre so kind of opposite Tower of Terror I'm not sure how long it's gonna go on for obviously it is to celebrate the release of the Little Mermaid live action version so who knows maybe for another few weeks maybe for the whole of summer but if you want to see something to do with the Little Mermaid especially the live action version because the Ariel is gonna be from the live action movie of the Little Mermaid then come along to Walt Disney Studios and enjoy a little mini show I haven't actually seen it just yet so I'm looking forward to seeing it for the first time and as you can see whilst there are a few people waiting for it I don't think it's a very well-known show it's not on the app store or anything so not many people know Know about it it is currently 4 30 the next showing should be in about 15 minutes and there's only a few people waiting so you should be able to get a good view no matter what time you come Now this is only a little piece of news, but if you're in Walt Disney Studios and you want to meet the Toy Story characters, they now have a refreshed look to them. They look much better, all of them. Buzz, Woody and Jesse, they're all looking so much better. It's almost like they've probably had more sleep. Maybe they've eaten healthier and that's why they just look better, right? Their skin is glowing. Also, there's Crush over there. Crush is a new though. <laughs> in fact, like I said, this isn't even a new thing. It's not a new meet and greet, it's just the Toy Story characters look better. So if you want to meet them again, if you're in Walt Disney Studios, now that they look even better than before, then this is a place to come. Now the news I'm probably the most excited about is a new show coming to Disneyland Paris. I've been talking about this show for quite a while now and this show is gonna be called Together and it's gonna be playing here at the Studio Theatre in Walt Disney Studios Park. And now we've actually got almost a date for it. Not an actual date quite yet, but we know that it's going to be premiering in July of 2023, so only about a month away now. So if you're visiting in the summer months, more than likely, together, this new Pixar show that I'm so excited about should be ready here for you at the Studio Theatre. Honestly, I cannot wait. I've heard such good things about it. It's going to feature a live band, loads of our favourite Pixar characters, and you guys know how much I love Pixar. So if you've been seeing this Land Paris from mid-July onwards, then make sure you check out this new show here at the Studio Theatre. And of course, be subscribed as well to my channel because I will be coming back to cover the whole show for you, and I'm so excited for it. We are back in the main park now in Disneyland Park in Discoveryland because with the opening of Together, the new Pixar show in Walt Studios Park in that theatre, they can no longer use that space for meet and greet. So now Minnie has moved into Videopolis. That's the entrance if you want to meet her. And it's not just Minnie, it's Minnie and friends. So you might get Minnie, or sorry, Minnie or friends. You might get Minnie, you might get another character. Today is actually Clarabelle, the cow, who I absolutely love. I think she's quite a rare character and her outfit is amazing. So let's go to that meet and greet now. Bonjour. Hi Clarabelle, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, you look amazing. I love your outfit. I can't like get over it. You, you have, especially 
with the butterfly and the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to learn a lesson or two from your outfits. You like my ears. <laughs> Thank you. Let's just blue ears. Next time I'll try and wear a dress and try and match your, your beauty. <laughs> anyway, should we get some photos? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're doing a little catwalk. Your turn? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I'm not nearly as good Ten as you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Carabelle. You've made my day. Okay, look here. Cool. Next. Oh. So cool. Thank you so much, Carabelle. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Merci. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 That was honestly such a fun meet. I did not expect Clarabelle to make me do a catwalk. <laughs> that was so bad compared to her. She is just a natural. She's amazing. But yeah, just be aware that it's not always Minnie. But Minnie sometimes does meet there and she's going to be in her Parisian outfit. Any character that you meet there is going to have special outfits. It's meant to be about like traveling around Europe. So even like the waiting area has really cool posters of different countries and cities in Europe. I particularly like the one of Paris, the poster of Paris, because the Eiffel Tower looks like she <laughs> Looks like she's shopping. She's got arms and legs. I just thought it was brilliant. So make sure you watch out for that as well. Like I said, it's the new meeting week happening in Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris in Discoveryland, and the location is just here in Videopolis. The entrance will be at the Arcade Alpha. And if you're worried about which character you're gonna get, whether it's gonna be Minnie or somebody else, worth asking and checking with a cast member before you start queuing. Another fun new thing in Disneyland Paris is actually a new magic shot. So if you've got photo pass, you can get some of the magic shots. This one is kind of on your way to Discoveryland. You've got Plaza Gardens restaurant here behind me and you'll find this on your left. It's kind of in the Main Street area but not quite in Discoveryland, at the entrance of Discoveryland per se. And it's kind of like, I guess a Disney Channel one? It's very cool, you get given a prop as well to do the pose, so let's go and do it. And we are now in front of the New York Hotel, The Art of Marvel, and you may be wondering, Sam, is something new happening inside this hotel? No, sadly not. Although, having said that, this hotel is celebrating its two-year anniversary in June of 2023. It reopened as a Marvel hotel in June of 2021. I do have vlogs from that as well if you want to check out the grand opening of it. But there is a store inside this hotel, as there is in most of Disney hotels, and they have some new merchandise in there. One particular thing especially that I want to show you. Oh, I just love the lobby of Hotel New York the art of Marvel every time I step into it I'm just amazed by it it's so cool they've done such an amazing job by changing it into a Marvel themed hotel with all the cartoons here if you can afford to stay at the Hotel New York the art of Marvel stay here honestly it's one that I can highly recommend there's nothing wrong with it there's no fault to it to be honest even the rooms are so modern they've got like USB plugs I've got room tours if you want to check them out down below but if I could stay here every time, believe me, I would stay in this hotel every single time. Unfortunately, I can't, but that's fine. There are loads of other cheaper hotels around as well. Anyway, what we're interested in for this video is the New York Boutique, which is the official shop here at Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. Now, this shop mainly sells Marvel stuff. In fact, really only Marvel stuff. They might have a couple of just generic Disney stuff, but for the most part, as you can see, it is dedicated to Marvel-themed merchandise. But this over here is what we're interested in. This only got released about two, three days ago. It's a fly bag as you can see and it's I think the first ever Disneyland Paris hotel lounge fly bag that's been released specifically for one of the hotels here and I love it it looks stunning doesn't it like the reds the blacks it says Disney's Hotel New York the art of Marvel it's actually got the logo of the hotel on top of it like so 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 cool I thought I was going to show you the back of it as well because I was curious and I did not expect this at all look there's spider-man what a cool little easter egg i love lounge fly honestly lounge fly bags are just amazing they're quite expensive for what they are but they are so cool and they've got so many amazing designs and this one is one that i'm definitely oh i'm gonna have to think about buying because i love this hotel and i love the lounge fly bag for it too it's so cool what i will say though is that this lounge fly bag this new hotel new york art of marvel hotel lounge fly bag this stunning black red and white lounge fly bag is a hundred euros that's a lot that's more expensive than regular lounge fly bag i think because it's an exclusive one to this land paris and of course to this hotel as well but you can get your annual pass discount it'll probably drop it down to about 80 euros which is what i'm gonna do if i do buy it i kind of do want to buy it guys i have a problem but this is so beautiful let me know what you guys think would you get this if you like the hotel new york if you've stayed here if it's something that you enjoy if you like marvel is this something that you would like to buy the colors are so beautiful. I mean, even if you don't like this hotel, even if you've never stayed here, I feel like it's such a gorgeously designed bag with the hotel on it. And 
the colors are quite neutral as well i'm just like trying to <laughs> convince myself to buy it at this moment in time am i ready to drop 80 euros tonight we'll have to wait and see i am at thora's now because we've got one new 30th anniversary merchandise piece that was released not so long ago now you might have seen some of this stuff there behind me in fact i actually already own that um, this all was released in April of 2023 on the 12th of April for the 31st anniversary of Disneyland Paris. I think this is probably one of the last merchandise pieces that Disneyland Paris is going to be releasing for the 30th anniversary celebrations. But there is one thing that you didn't see in that video that I made a couple of months ago and that's this. It's the wonderful Mickey 30th anniversary hat. And I absolutely love it, like look at that. It's basically the exact same hat, well not the exact same hat, but you know what I mean. It's meant to be a replica of what Mickey wears on Dream and Shine Brighter, the Ready for the Ride show, which I absolutely love. This is, by the way, in case you're wondering, 35 euros, which honestly not too bad. You might think because it's like a full-on hat they'd be significantly more expensive than your regular pair of ears, but 35 euros, I don't think that's too bad. Here's a better look at them over here. They've got quite a lot of them available actually too. So there you go again. That's the hat. And actually, I just noticed it's got the, that cute detail as well with the 30th logo there on the front. Very cute. Also, Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary embroidery on the side as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it or not. I mean, I've been thinking about it. It's one of those things where it would be cool to own it. But honestly, the 30th anniversary is ending at the end of September 2023. So would it really make much sense having it on when Dream and Shine Writer unfortunately won't be um, you know, happening anymore? I don't know. This is what they look like, by the way. Oh my God, I feel like I'm Mickey now. <laughs> Mickey on Dream and Shine Writer. I love the 30th anniversary costumes. I kind of wish they did these like ears for the other characters as well. Like Donald would be cool. I don't know. It would be nice if they did more of these like character stuff, but the hat is iconic. And it's a comfortable pair of ears as well. So I probably shouldn't have tried them on because now, <laughs> now I feel like I'm probably going to buy them. If you want to see if I actually end up buying them or not, subscribe to my channel because maybe you'll see this hat here in a video in the future. Last but by no means least, there has been a number of strikes or demonstrations, if you like, happening in this land Paris over the past few weeks. And you can see them right now there behind me under the train station. So if you are coming to Disneyland Paris in the next few weeks or months, who knows, make sure you check online to see if the strikes will perhaps affect your stay. Normally these demonstrations tend to happen on a Tuesday, so midweek, because the cast members who are demonstrating want to affect as few guests as possible. They know that the weekends tend to be busier, but it's still worth checking just in case. And Disneyland Paris has actually made a statement to say that if you want to change your dates or postpone them, or even get your money back, you can do so because of the strikes. And I really hope it gets resolved soon. I mean, I feel really bad for the cast members. Of course, it's also sad for the guests who pay money to come here. And uh, with the demonstrations happening, a lot of the shows can't be happening. A lot of the parades just can't happen because the cast members are currently on strike. But also cast members deserve more as well. So I really hope it's something that they can kind of come to agreement with and it can be resolved soon. And just like that, we have come to the end of this video. They are currently playing Frozen 2. Anyway, something's never changed, that's the one, <laughs> an instrumental version of it. But I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. It has become suddenly quite windy, but hot. I need to start rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're excited about any of these new things happening at Disneyland Paris in the upcoming months. And also let me know if you're visiting anytime soon. I'd love to read your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe as well. I've got loads of other videos coming up and some already on my channel. And follow me on Instagram too. But with that being said, it is goodbye from Disneyland Paris. I'll see you in the next one.